So you just purchased a Kicker KMC2 Media Center. We're going to show you what all the connections are for and how to operate it. Connections on the KMC2 are very simple. You've got your main power harness which features power, ground, remote output and illumination lead plus all four speaker outputs. You have a USB input, a 2.5 volt RCA output, an RCA auxiliary input jack, a 3.5 millimeter analog remote connection for the KRC12, and your traditional antenna jack. That's all there is to it. Once again, it is very simple to hook up. The operation of the KMC2 is actually very simple. Pressing the source button one time will turn the unit on. Pressing it multiple times will change the source input. AM, Bluetooth for music, and if you notice it's flashing BT pair, that's telling me it's looking for a head unit to pair automatically and the auxiliary input, and back to FM. Pressing the menu button will take you into the setup mode. Bluetooth reconnection, push it again, beep on or off for the buttons. We're gonna leave it off. We have your loudness on or off. If you notice when the loudness is on, it says loud on the display. And your USA or European tuning settings for the tuner. If you're in the USA, make sure it's set to USA. Push it again, it will take you back to the tuner mode. If we want to go to FM, a couple presses of the button will take us back to the FM source. The preset button will give you 18 presets that you can program for both AM and FM stations. Pressing the preset button one will allow you to scroll through the presets with the volume control that are already programmed by you, the user. Pressing and holding the preset button will allow me to select what preset number I want to save the last station I was listening to. Pressing the volume button will lock that into memory. The center control is the volume control, self-explanatory. As I push the volume control, it takes me into the bass, treble, balance left, balance right, Fader front, fader rear, and the next press will take me into the equalizer setting. You have several pre-programmed equalizer settings. If you notice we have classical, rock, pop, and flat. So if we go back to classical, it'll say classical on the display, rock will illuminate rock on the display, pop will illuminate pop on the display, and flat means it's completely flat, no bass or treble added. If I go to the EQ user mode, that's when I can adjust the bass and treble independently. The buttons on the right of the KMC2 control station up, station down, track up, track down when in Bluetooth, play pause, or in this case on the radio, it becomes mute. Very simple to operate. If I want to tune the station up, pressing the arrow to the right is gonna tune automatically up. I could stop it by pushing the button at any point. Holding the button down for one second releasing will put you into the manual tuning mode on both buttons where I can tune it manually. After two seconds of releasing the buttons, it will return to the automatic tuning mode. Once again, down tuning automatically, stop it, press and hold the button for one second, release, goes into manual mode. Now I can manually tune the tuner both down and up with the corresponding arrows. That's really all there is to it, guys. Very simple to operate, very stylish, classy unit. It should work great in any outdoor environment where you need extreme durability.